like this guy, Eddie Wizzy, Uganda's emerging star choreographer and dancer. His moves are as wild as his soul is warm and passionate. And believe me, there wasn't a better place for a chat with Eddie than one of the busiest junctions in Kampala. First of all, me, I dance for a positive change. I get the negativity in people. I change it to positivity. So these kids, some, some of them are orphans. Some of them, the parents are poor. So I do a school, like a dance school. I'm teaching quite a big number of kids, like in particular areas. I have kids in Mukono, I have here in Rwanda, I have in Zambia, I have in Mubende, I have in Jinja. I don't know the exact number because every day you see a new face that wants to dance. Tell me, how did you start dancing? I started dancing quite a long time ago in, in Kasese. You know, Kasese is nearing the border of Congo. Mm -hmm. so and Congolese are good in dance. So we used to watch them on TV, they used to come to our village, then we copy. Then like five years, five, six years, I started dancing. My style is called Afrobeat. I do Afrobeat fusion, just it is an original composition, like original dance, like urban TVs. Like I don't do break dance, I do bebop. I don't do Michael Jackson. I do a easy. Back in time, I was at Louis Races. Then Eddie Kearns or some big artist in, in Uganda, in Africa, came at our school for a career's day. Then came with Tip Suzy and Ron Stamina. Those were his dancers. So when they played the song that I really felt, I jumped on the stage and I started challenging everyone. And Eddie Kearns asked, like in our, ling in our language, they say, Tumutuale, that means, can we take him? Then all kids were like, yeah! Then that's when I joined the crew for that big man, Eddie Kenzo. Up right now, I'm still doing under his crew. I'm really focused on dancing because dancing has really put me somewhere. I've traveled around the world because of dance. 